Years ago when I was a student, I was sometimes the only woman in my engineering classes. I fully expected that over time the percentages of women and minorities would be going dramatically up, but this hasn't really happened. The numbers have been stagnating. And so I've gotten progressively more involved over the years in figuring out what's wrong with this and how can I help this problem. So about five or six years ago, I became the faculty equity advisor for the Jacobs School. And in this role, I do the unconscious bias training for all of our search committees. And even though I'm an engineer, I've gotten involved in sociological research, looking at candidate evaluation methods and also at gender effects in interruptions of academic job talks. We've done very well on our diversity hiring the last few years, and I recently won a state grant for advancing faculty diversity. And about three and a half years ago, I became the associate dean for students so that I could also be working on the student piece. And I've gotten very involved with mentoring and retention and recruitment of our URM students. I'm also doing some work with K-12 outreach through the Create STEM Success Initiative and with presentations in schools and also through the high school splash program. I recently won a National Science Foundation STEM award which is going to be giving scholarships and academic support services for our low income students. As for why I do this, part of it is because I just think it's the right thing to do, to try to counteract the unconscious biases and the cultural pushes that are keeping some people out of engineering. And also, I enjoy the work, and I think the United States needs more scientists and engineers in order to stay competitive. So we really need full participation of all segments of society.